Portland Trails had one of their busiest summers ever with the creation of new trails and improvements to existing ones. Outreach manager Katie Brown talked with Leslie McVeigh about what's in store for 2013. Well, Katie Brown, here we are. Good morning. Good morning. Now, Portland Trails has done this, um, what's it called? Discovery uh, Tracks. Discovery Tracks. For some reason, I can't keep that It's in my the day head. after the election. <laughs> yeah. Discovery Tracks. Um, and they've been doing that in the summers for a number of years. That's right. Doing um, all kinds of fun things up on the hill and mm -hmm. everywhere on your trails. That's right. But you're carrying it through to the fall and winter this time. That's right. Uh, tell me some of the things you're going to be do offering. Well, um, kind of in the same vein as what we were doing during the summer, getting folks out onto trails that maybe they're not familiar with. And we saw a great turnout this summer uh, on our Discovery Treks. We had those uh, twice a month. That's sort of traditional for us to have two guided uh, Discovery Trek walks um, uh, during the summertime. And uh, more and more, we're just finding that people don't shut down uh, in Portland when winter comes. I think that used to be sort of the norm, um, but um, people are still incredibly active uh, and, and need to, to stay active if, if they're, they're not uh, necessarily winter people. So we'll have at least one discovery trek uh, per month uh, through uh, the end of spring. Uh, and also we will have discovery trek runs uh, hosted by our executive uh, director, Kara Waldrick. Um, we had several uh, 5Ks and 10K uh, fundraisers this summer and fall, and uh, we had preview runs for each of those. And people just showed up and ran with a couple of our board members and with our director, and they were really popular. So they're not competitive, they're just kind of fitness it's runs. Fun. Yeah. And um, she'll be taking folks out onto some of our trails as well. Um, so um, we will be visiting a couple of uh, favorites, uh, of course. Four River Sanctuary is very popular mm -hmm. uh, trail, and for those who uh, have never been on it before, uh, really need to go out and see it. Oh, yeah. It's, it's just incredible. an unbelievable part of Portland. Yeah. Um, but we'll be going to some um, new places and unusual places as well, and trying to get some snowshoeing in right. uh, on some of them. Right. Uh, we have about 50 pairs of snowshoes at Portland Trails, and they're free for members to borrow. Oh and five dollars for non-members to borrow. So what a great opportunity for mm -hmm. someone who's never snowshoed, kind of like, I don't know, but can try it out. Exactly. And membership doesn't cost very much. No, it doesn't. And along mm -hmm. with your membership at Portland Trails, I know you get email reminders of all these things. Right. Which right. to me is wonderful. Yeah. I go through it and I'm like, I want to do that, I want to do that, <laughs> I want to do that. And there's a lot going on. Yes. Yeah, I, I took my snowshoes to Evergreen Cemetery last oh. year. And what a great place that is. So That's a great suggestion as a place for us to schedule to a discovery a trek, trek this, yeah. this winter. And it's, as you know, we could have a lot of snow, we could have no snow, we could, we could schedule a snow-related trek in January, mm -hmm. and it turns out all the snow was in April. <laughs> so we're going to be a little bit flexible. Yeah. People should definitely uh, stay tuned to well, our website. Well, and also, um, one of the things with, with the snowshoes, the new mm. snowshoes, I used mm. to have the old wooden oh, ones, yeah. you know, They're but hard. the new ones are so lightweight. Yeah. Even if you don't use them, you just, you know, put them on your back and your backpack or something like that and it's and true it's not like carrying a load that's right they're very portable yeah. and and it is so simple to snowshoe with the um, the newer designs mm -hmm. as you say yeah. and they're it's they're incredible. more narrow yeah um, so and you it's can run in them it's and incredible yeah. where you can go in the snow yeah. that you really couldn't go before without I, getting I exhausted. I recommend you do a, a race, a snowshoe oh. race. Oh, I'll do that at Riverside. Oh. Maybe it would be great. That's now, a great idea. now you've you've got something else coming up. Oh yeah, in um, December, I believe. This is really fun. This is our third annual uh, 5K um, Portland Brewers hol holiday, uh, holiday Dash, um, hosted by Rira. And it sells out fast. We haven't quite sold out yet, but we will be soon. Um, and it's a great funder, fundraiser for Portland Trails um, in what's normally like a hectic you know, holiday time. Yeah. And people just have a blast. Yeah. Um, they go out and they run a 5K, whether it's, it's snowing or sleeting or raining or nearly 60 degrees, which it was last December. Uh, and then it's followed by a buffet and pints uh, at uh, Rira afterwards. That's fun. Now, um, I used to run, can't. Mm. 
bone on bone. Mm. Do you ever do walks along oh, yeah. with the run? Oh yeah, so lots you can of, do the five k definitely. As a walk. Yeah, lots of people register who are just walking, All right, or bringing their strollers, or, or bringing their, their dog. dogs. You know. Right. Yeah. So, Moxie yeah. And I may it's join. Moxie's great. a member, you know. Oh, that's um, right. <laughs> um, now, you've got a new storefront. We've got to wrap oh, yeah. it, but um, sure. on Commercial Street, yep. the same location, yep. but you're up on the street. That's not correct, now. Sort of in the back. That's right. You can, and you can see our map in our windows when you walk by. Yeah. Lots of people uh, come Refer by. Refer to it. Yeah. Exactly. And then they come in and buy a map. So come by anytime. And become a member. That's and right. Get become emails a member. and find out about all the fun things. That's Thanks, right. Katie. Oh, thank you, Leslie. <laughs>